All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new batch file. First thing is we're just going to start off with a simple one. So all we're going to do is have one copy our files up to the server. All you have to do is right click on your screen, go new, and we're going to make a text document. So it's going to have the extension txt, but in the end, we'll change that to bat, and that's when it'll run the batch file. Uh, so I'm going to call this one um, AS2019 or 2020, because I haven't done that one yet, backup files. So that's all this routine is going to do. Okay, Oops. now it's hidden. So I have it here. I can double click it or I can go to edit. Okay, so it's just an empty text file. So I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to copy this, but I'll explain it in a second because this is what you'll type in. Copy. Paste. Okay, let's hide that one. So this is what you're going to type in. Okay, the rem statement <coughs> just means that this is not going to be a line that it takes into account. It's just to put notes in. You can also do a double dot, uh, so two colons. Whoops, that's semicolons. Two colons does the same thing. Okay, RoboCopy, there's a couple different ways of doing this, but in this case, RoboCopy is the functionality we're going to be using. And if we come in, all we're saying is, take this path and copy it to this path okay and i want you to mirror everything that's in there all the subdirectories and everything that's all that means so let's just start with that so i'm going to come in here to my file explorer i'm going to come into my advanced deal 2020 so that's c program data autodesk 2020 and I want it to back up this USA folder. If I want, I could just have it back up my whole 2020 folder, right? So it depends. So I'm going to come in here just so I have the full path. I click up here, I'll copy. So I could have typed it in, but I'm going to paste it in here. Paste. So I have my exact path. Notice there's some quotation marks. What happens is if there's any spaces, it just crunches those together. It ignores them because otherwise it's going to cause an error. If I wanted to on this one, I could have just put the question, uh, the quotation marks here and here instead. But I just did the whole thing because it's, it's easier. And I don't see that it causes any issue right now. Okay. Now, where do I want to back it up at? So in this case, I'm going to go back to my file explorer. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, you know what, this one I'm going to back up on the D because I don't have access to the T right now. So let's go to the D, Autodesk, um, and I'll just make a new folder here. AS 2020 Backup. So there we go. Go in. I'm going to take this path, copy, come in here. I'm going to paste it there. Paste. So I'm not copying just a file, I'm copying everything in a folder in this case. Okay. And it's going to take this USA, so I should have a USA here as well. USA. All right. So that's it. I'm going to take this off for now. What this is going to do is actually some people have just been copying the LDF file, but that means exclude files and then whatever I put here. So I could say that. I could also put a asterisk dot back, whatever files I want to exclude. Okay. In this case, we will leave it off and we're just going to mirror this directory. Okay. 
So we got that. We're going to go File, Save. We could do Save As. You can see it on my desktop here. And I'm going to come in and rename this with a dot .bat. That makes it a batch file. Yeah, I want to change it. At any time, I can right click and go edit. But if I double click it or open it, it's going to launch it. And we're ready to launch it. So I double click it. It just it's copying all these files. We don't have to have it show us those files. It could do that in the background if we want. But now if I go into my directory, here I am on my D Autodesk. Advanced Steel 2020 Backup USA folder was now created, and in it, all my files. I just made a backup copy of this. Okay. Now we're going to change this up. Now we want to get all these files down to the user's machine. So this one was the batch file for the admin. So let's rename that. So instead of backup files, I'm going to say 2020 admin files. Okay. So that's what they're launching. And I'm going to just make a copy of this. Copy. Paste. And we're going to call this one. Oops, user files. OK, we're going to right click, edit. And for the user files, we need to reverse this, actually. So we're going to come in and grab, oops, we'll grab this guy, Control X, Control V. OK, so now it's going to copy this D directory down to my local. But we're going to go one step further. We need to, just to verify, we're going to make sure we delete that whole USA folder first. So once again, just to make it easy, I'm going to come down here. And you can see this RMDIR, remove directory, and whatever directory I tell it. OK, I'm just going to copy this whole line just so I, have, I don't have to recreate it. Copy, because notice I'm just making notes. Okay, this is going to delete the previous USA folder, and it's just telling me what it's going to do. Just making notes. I come back here. I want it before. All right, so I pasted this. I'm just going to give a couple enters just to make this look clean. There we go, space move apart. So now we're going to delete the folders off this C drive. So notice I'm just copying and pasting. I want to control C. Control V. Okay. So remove this direct. Then it's going to copy our D down to our C. So essentially, look at D as being our server file or shared directory file. Just make this read only. So that way we can see it completely delete everything. I can see that it's gone. I'm going to go back in, edit, take this off, take this off, save. Now, when I run it, I can see it's copying everything from my backup to my drive. So here we are. Okay. So now let's take it to, so that, that's essentially all it is. I have one file that's copying the admins up to the shared directory. I have another one that's deleting the local users ones. And so this will reside on their machine. And then it backs up, sorry, it, it deletes them and replaces them with the one that's on the shared server. Those are the only two. That's the basics of it. Now we're going to come in and add a few extra things. So when I stop advanced steel, 
it's also closing this SQL server. In this case, just to make sure that it's that that server process is stopped, I'm going to add this in. So if I come in here, I'm going to go copy. And you can see you can type all this in. Or I'm going to be lazy. So in both of these, I'm going to want it in there. So I'm going to go to edit, at least for this person. And before we start the whole process, I'm going to add it in front of everything. So now I can see that it's going to kill the server, make sure that nothing's running in the background before we start copying the files. Perfect. Okay. The other thing I'm going to add in is you can see I just have some notes here. Okay, so that's going to tell me right when I first start. Copy. You know, just going to warn the person when we see that whole list of command lines come down. Once again, this is just optional. But look, I have a nice little note. More importantly are these reminder messages. So I'm going to come in here. This is just a note. Control C. B. Enter. OK. And I want it to prompt us. So take a look. This guy here is going to say, Reminder, pause. We're going to come into one of my other batch file processes here, edit, where I have some reminder prompts. So what we're going to do is we have our backup. OK. We're going to come in here, and we're going to copy this whole section here. And what this is doing is it's saying it's putting whatever text I want and prompting the person. It says, please close advanced deal prior and click OK once closed. Then it's killing that task server. So I'm just going to grab all of this and add it in. Copy. Once again, this is optional. So let me go to our user one. Control V. And we'll see what it does. Save yes. Double click to use. Take a look. It's now prompting me. Uh, batch process by David Naylor, collaboration with several companies. And it also is bringing up this prompt box. Please close advanced steel prior to continue. I can use this to put every location so I can see what's being copied as well. But you can see now it's going through and it's deleting and replacing that whole directory. Let's come in and we will add another prompt. So we've killed the server. We've deleted previous versions. We've copied. Here's another prompt. So let's put that prompt in just before it starts copying everything. So after it kills it, it's just warning us just before it starts bleeding. So it deleted everything, and now we're going to have it paste, warn us, hey, all configurations have now been removed. So we've deleted those guys there. And the new ones will be copied. That's this process here, copying from the D to the user's machine. 
So now let's see that. So we're just taking this one step at a time. Please close advanced deal. Yep. It killed the server. You can see. Oh, or maybe it had an issue. I'll have to see what's going on. The old have been removed and the new ones now copied over. There we go. Because we can see action going on there. That's uh, that's what it's doing for us. Uh, let's come down here. We're going to just close this with one last pop-up. And you can see here, this, this line right here could launch advanced steel automatically, but we can just double click it when we want. So I'm going to come in here and grab this whole message. Copy. Back in here. Edit. And we're going to do one last final message. Enter, control V, save it, launch it, yes, it's closed, killed the server, we were hoping, now it's going through, copying everything over, I can see the number because we have one last prompt, we can actually review everything, which is nice. Okay, and it tells me how many were deleted, copied, all that jazz, and how many failed. So everything looks like it went. tells me how long it took. And advanced deal 20. Whoops, I got to change that to 2020, right? Send and configuration have been copied to your local. And you may now use advanced deal. Why, well, thank you. So I will come in here, edit. I'm going to make sure that my 2020, I'm going to come over here and say replace. I want all 2019s to be replaced with 2020s, replace all. Perfect. So if I scroll down, bam, I fixed it. So let's come in and build up this file with some extra goodies. Right now it's just copying from the server down to the user's directory, replacing all of theirs with what the company standards are up here. So in this case, I could type everything out, but what I'm going to do is be a little lazy, but I will go step by step what I'm doing here. So in this case, let's add in that kill server task. OK, so I'm going to go Control C. And notice I just put rem statements just to make note of what it's doing. Really, all I needed was these two lines right here. Okay. That at echo off just makes it visible in the command line when I see it. So we're going to come in here. And before we back up everything, we're going to come in and control V, enter, enter. Here we go. And actually, I'm going to. Instead of calling it backup section, I'm going to make this smaller. You can see the whole thing. Stop going over that far for me. Okay, and this should be copy from server section or shared drive section. Okay. And then I'll just put a rem line just to control C, control V, just to say, hey, this guy stops here. Once again, just breaking it so it's easier to read. So now it's going to kill the server, and then it's going to make the copy. So otherwise, it can't copy the files if it doesn't. So let's just run a quick test on that. Save. I double click. No, oh, it's done. All right. So we've added that in. Now what we want to do is we want to add some prompts in. So maybe the first note I'm going to add is that, hey, I've come in and I'm the one who made this. Uh, you know, come see me if you need to make any changes. Edit. We're going to add that in. The top line, Control V. Enter, enter. We're going to skip this section here for right now. 
Okay. We're going to come down here. This says a reminder message section. So all this is is a note to ourselves that's saying, hey, this is going to copy the admins down to the user. And it's going to give us a prompt to close advanced steel first. And once we close advanced steel, then it's going to kill the server. So let's come in here and grab all this. Copy. Okay. Remember, all we really need is these three lines right here. Okay. I'm going to replace all that. Paste. So now if we look at that, I'm going to save yes. When we launch it, notice it's prompting me. It's a, so now I can see what's being written in the command line. And close advanced steel. Okay. Killed task server. Okay. So we've done that. We also want to delete that previous folder. Okay, so that's going to make a cleaner. Otherwise, it tries to overwrite the existing, and it might not be what we want because we might have some residual stuff that's going to be in there. So all this is saying is remove directory, and it's this directory. So let's come in here, edit. So before it starts copying, I want it to remove that directory. Paste. It's not the T directory anymore, it's the D directory. So, or sorry, it's the C directory. So, Control C, Control V. Check it out, save. Okay. So now I can see it's deleted everything, and because we had such a long list, that meant that it did what it was supposed to. I'm just going to add in some notes that we're copying this. So if we come in, you can see that it's just one more prompt for us right afterwards, just before we do our, our copying. Okay. I'm going to come in here. Oops, I don't want to take that. Copy, edit. So really, we only needed the basic thing, but these are just some extra goodies to really get us um, actually a more usable um, batch file. Close it, and I'm just, I can do this all at once, but I'm just showing you what happens each time. So now it comes up, and it's taking care of everything. The old configurations have now been removed. The new ones will now be shared. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and I see it didn't really delete it because I had the wrong path. I have too many. Oh, let's go in, edit. Let's make sure that we don't have T in any of these locations. Remove directory. Perfect. Okay. Copying D. All right. That all looks good. Always good to double check your work. Uh, so that was deleting the previous USA folder. So we have that. I'm going to come down here. And if I look at the copy section, I'm just going to make more notes. OK, so now you can see down here that it's just saying now they can use advanced steel because everything's been copied over. Okay, I could also, with these last two lines, tell it, hey, launch advanced steel now. We're not going to do that. We're just going to stop it right here. Okay. Copy. Control V. Sure. We're going to close advanced steel, so we closed it. We killed the server. Now it's going to come in and it's going to copy over our folders because it deleted everything else. And now we can see because of the last prompt, it allows us to view this all before we hit OK. So that's the main part. One last thing if we want to add it, and that is we're going to come back up here. We have 
this command to actually back up our original. So this would be more on the admin side. To come in here, copy, and I'll show you what uh, we're going to do. I would add a bunch of the stuff we just put into the user one in here. Paste. So what this is doing is it's time stamping when this process started. Then it's creating a new folder called original. And it's in its name, it's putting dash, the date, all this stuff right here. So it's time stamping that folder. So now if I come in here, and that should be percent original name percent. So that's what it's going to use. Close it. Save. Now I'm going to double click. It comes through and you can see it's copying all those files over to a new folder. I go to File Explorer and I'll go to my D drive. Autodesk. Backup. And there's the original dash time and date stamp. So every time I run that. can see it makes a new folder so if I screwed up anything I can go back and check it out and that's how you create your batch files thank you